Jim and Tracy chose this ranch-style retreat as home so that Tracy could have her horses nearby. Not only do I love the horses, the kids love the horses. Sophia loves to go feed the horses with me and help me clean the pastures. And if the horses weren't in the backyard, that would be difficult for us to do. The bones at the house were great, but the outside was brown and tan. Every room on the inside was brown and tan. Some fencing was in disrepair. So I knew day one there was going to be a lot of work. So when we first walked into the house, I thought the kitchen looked very nice. But after working in the kitchen, I realized it just doesn't work. There's no room. There's no space. With our lifestyles, it's not like we ever just sit down at our kitchen table and have dinner together. We don't. And you know, we have a potting bench in there for an island that you can't even put stools around. The seating on the opposite side of the sink is so small. It just doesn't work. We all can't sit there. It's fixable. We don't have a garage. We don't have a mudroom. We come into the den area of the house. The kids throw their shoes, their book bags. It's just a disaster all the time. We could add a mudroom. We've got the space. We could add a garage. Another issue we have here at the house is the laundry room. It's not a laundry room. It's a closet. There's always laundry going. And where does it end up? In my dining room. I'm sure there's a better location, but I don't know where that is. The kids' bathroom, it just doesn't function. It's so tiny, the cabinets are outdated, the fixtures in there are outdated. And now that Bella's getting older, she doesn't want to be in that bathroom because it's so tiny. She wants to go use the guest bathroom all the time. I know Bella's getting at the age where she needs more space in, in the bathroom, but we can fix things, move things around. The sunroom, it has one of the best views in the house. You and I don't even get to use it because of all the toys out there. I bet we can find another space in this house for a bonus room. There's no bonus room in this house. So we have an office where I keep my guitars in, but I don't have any room for my guitar cases. All the guitar cases are in the tub, and we have a desk in there. My wife has been working more from the house, and so she's used that room a lot more. There's a lot of times I'll be sitting in there playing, and she'll go, Jim, I've got a conference call in five minutes. you got to leave. It'd be really nice to have a separate office and a separate area for my guitars. The other problem we have with the master bedroom is our closet. None of my clothes are in there, zilch. All my clothes are in the guest bedroom. We need to find a house that's more functional. I want a fresh start. We started our journey here. It's home. I can't imagine not spending the rest of our lives here. What I see is lots of work on the weekends. We will find a place that's going to work for us where I don't have to spend time painting rooms, amending fences, or whatever it is. I promise you we'll find that. So I've done an evaluation on your home. Current value is $875,000. That sounds that right. That sounds within right. the range. Mm -hmm. What is the must-have list to get you out of this house? It's going to be very hard for us to leave this beautiful property. But we must have an open concept kitchen and living room. Four bedrooms and at least three bathrooms, but I'd prefer four. Bonus room for kids, office space for myself, a guitar room for Jim. We definitely need a two-car garage, a private lot, I want the horses on our property. Okay. I mean, my preference would be on a smaller lot, so I'm not working all the time on the weekends. The horses don't necessarily need to be on our property. It's kind of two different prices. What you're talking about might be a little bit cheaper than what you're talking about. What's the budget? The budget is $950,000. Let's see what I can come up with. And it's going to be a process where you guys are going to decide which way we go with this. Sounds great. Sounds good. Over to you. I love the property. I completely understand everything that you want. But you're the man I have to convince that this is a home that you could stay in. Well, I think it's going to be a tough task, Hillary. We need to renovate and open up the kitchen, enlarge and renovate the master bath and closet. We need to maintain a guest room. We need to renovate the girls' bathroom, create an office space for Tracy. We need to add an attached garage, to add a laundry room, create a mud room. And we need the girls' bonus space. What's my budget? $170,000. I'm really glad to hear that because I believe that with $170,000, I can work wonders in this house. But everything needs to be done in order for him to love it. Right now, honestly, all that I can promise is that I'll do everything that I can. What we need here is a garage. The new garage is going to break through the wall into a bedroom right now that's going to become a mudroom laundry room. All right. I want to yeah. show you the kitchen right, right now. Let's take a look. Isn't this fabulous? It's huge. And then you look at this kitchen, and it's just so wrong. Obviously, we're going to open right up, knock this down, but I'm still going to have to build this out to be deep enough to gotcha, put cabinets gotcha, on this gotcha. wall, right? Okay. But I've got to pick up space, right? So I can compensate for that by having a nice big island in here. Huh. All right. OK? What's next? 
this bathroom needs complete updating. Jack and Jill. But it's not going to be anymore because that's going to be mudroom laundry. Ah, no more door. Closing off, no doors. But on top of that, what I really want to do is to add a shower. So there'll be a tub and a shower. Because this is a bathroom that's going to be used by Sophia, but it's also got to be used by the guests when they come. OK, but... What? Where's Bella going? So this is where I'm going to put the guest room for the occasional guest. OK. And also it's going to become Tracy's office. Now, what I am going to show them has five acres. So it's got plenty of land for the horses, a spot to build a barn. So they're going to have to build it. But there is a great house, 3,000 square feet, open concept main floor. It's got three bedrooms, three bathrooms. But it's got a 3,000 square foot unfinished attic space. You've got a beautiful field. Uh, you've got a nice but little David, greenhouse. David, look at the metal building. Not like our view. Our view is of a beautiful pasture. In this house, you're going to be in the backyard. Got to see it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The dining room is small. I it mean, that, small. it wouldn't work for us. We entertain a lot. Well, let's see if there's other areas of the home where you could create something different. OK. okay. Sounds great. Uh, All right. This would be a great office for you, correct? Yes, the only thing missing is the view. You're in here to work, all right? It's not about pleasure. It's about getting <laughs> stuff done. It's about making money. But it helps when you can look outside and have a great view. The main area. Got your gas fireplace. I, I do like the That's stone. Nice. You've got to walk in to a beautiful sunroom with an incredible view. Look at all the grazing land you've got out there, over here, over there. There's no horse barn. You're going to have to build one. It's a pretty view, but we have all that at home, and we've got a horse barn. You've got your family room, eat-in kitchen combination. Wow, this is nice, Trace. I think the kitchen would need a lot of work, David. Right. I'm not sold on it. I'm OK with you not being sold on it. It's the first house we have seen. Let's continue to look, okay. get lots of good information, and then we're out of here. Sounds good. Hillary's transforming Jim and Tracy's boxy bungalow into a family home that flows. Here we go into this area that is amazingly open now. Wow. Oh, wow. oh my goodness. This fireplace becomes the focal point. But Tracy and Jim have made some alternate drawings to create a dedicated office space for Tracy that's separate from the guest room. I know you were never that happy with it, but it really was the only solution we had. And now Hillary's layout is under pressure. And your idea with that sketch you sent me was to put it somewhere over here. That's right. Which gets away from what I'm trying to do here. It's very important to me that we get this negative space around this great big fireplace. It will feel a little bit crowded. I can see what you're saying. It just doesn't work in here. It doesn't. But we need to find we, it somehow. My parents come here a lot to help out with the kids. I'm working from home more now, and I really need the dedicated space. A, I don't know where to put it, and B, I don't have any extra money to figure it out. So we've given you $200,000 to work with. I'm not going to go any higher than that. And the other thing we talked about, too, is my guitar room needs to be separate from where the kids' area is. These are definitely two items that we really have to have. I, I mean, I'm going to work on that. I will figure it out. It has to happen in order for me to be happy and also for Jim to stay in the house. It's as simple as that. I mean, I'm excited with what she's done, but we haven't seen the rest of the house. There's virtually no space in this house that I have not improved. You know, I think we threw a real real curve with the uh, dedicated office. As for the office, I mean, I don't know. We just need these things to happen after seeing the houses that we've looked at. I know. But I do want to make Tracy happy. And if she wants an office, I don't know. I'm just going to figure it out somehow. This next house with Jim and Tracy is on 3.44 acres. Horse stables, two minutes away. The house, 5,200 square feet. Four bedrooms, four and a half baths. Beautiful open concept main floor. A fantastic area for Jim and his guitars. A workspace for Tracy and a play area for the kids to hang out. This place has got everything. Where's the barn, David? <laughs> Look at this beautiful house. You're asking me where the barn is? Yes. The barn is two minutes. OK. I'm open to that. Sounds good. Let's go good. see the house. All right. Oh, wow. Nice. Here you have your family room, eat-in kitchen nice. combination. This is fantastic. The, the cabinets are darker than what we wanted. That's um, an easy fix, though, Trace. All you'd have to do is send them out to be repainted. Look at this oh, double screened-in yeah, porch. This is nice. This is great. 
And you've got this Look incredible sitting That's area down there. David, pretty. this is fantastic. It's pretty. Let's go. The three-car garage. Oh. Yeah, I like this. Exactly what we need. Mm -hmm. Yep. Main this floor laundry, tons of storage. Storage space up here. Yep. But this doesn't even compare to what we're going to have at our house. We'll see. Main floor master bedroom. It's nice and bright. Beautiful. Yes. Access to that screened-in porch. This is great. Great master closets. You've got his and hers. Perfect. Separate toilet. Oh. Double nice. sinks. Oh, that's nice. Huge shower and a soaker tub. Oh, I like that. There's more. Let's go. This is going to be Bella's bedroom. Oh, oh. goodness. Wow. She's got a nice little walk-in closet oh. there to set up and access to her own bathroom. That'll work. She would love this area. Now, it is set up as a Jack and Jill, so Sophia would be in there. There is a full bath on this level. Sophia can use the one that's down the hall, and this would be Bella's. This would work for the girls. Jim, this is gonna be oh. for you. Now we're talking. You can yes. set this up any way you like. Perfect. Jim and Tracy have been house hunting and renovating for the past several weeks, and now their home is finally ready to show. Soon they'll decide whether to stay put or move on. We are super excited. Starting right here. Okay. All right, okay. we're ready. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Wow. Wow. Oh my wow. gosh. I, oh my gosh. I don't even know That's what amazing. to say. <laughs> You've got those roll-out laundry baskets wow. underneath. Having the access it's... right here gives you the mudroom that you need. You've got to be able to come in from the barn and get the shoes off. They head. can put their backpacks up for school. This is Beautiful. fantastic. Time to keep going. Sounds good. <laughs> oh. oh, my gosh. It's just stunning. It's a complete turnaround. Of course, it's for your daughter, but it's also for any guests that come to yes. say they have a full bath. It's more than what I imagined. Ready? I'm ready. ready. All yeah. right. <gasps> oh. oh, wow. This, this is, is your beautiful. dedicated guest room, wow. which is what you wanted. Three for three. I hate to say it. OK, so we're going to keep going. Yes. OK. <sighs> Tracy. Oh, my gosh. When you walk in the front door, this is what you see. So this fireplace makes sense now. I don't know what to say. We love having people over. I mean, it's just incredible. It's beautiful. I'm already taking a peek into the kitchen. Oh my gosh. It's a, a mixture always of function and beauty. I might start cooking. <laughs> I, well, <laughs> this is the gathering. I can right see here. it right now. You have a constant connection everywhere yeah, with every area. Yeah, this is excellent. It's incredible. We've got to figure out where you guys are sleeping. So, first of all, it has a door on it. Privacy. <laughs> Privacy. <laughs> Take a look. Okay. There's space for me <laughs> There's in my a clothes. Lot of space. So I'm gonna have to keep my clothes in here too, right? <laughs> no. I absolutely love it. We're gonna go that way. Okay. Oh. <sighs> oh my gosh, Jim. I cannot believe this is the same bathroom. Look at the lovely soaker tub. Mom, I don't think my guitar cases will fit no, in there. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear about your guitars. <laughs> this is pretty nice, Hillary. Decision made? I think so. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We are going to... list it. <laughs> awesome! David brought us the house for the future. And having the horses off-site is... You know, it might be nice to have a little break and yeah. not have to pick stalls every yes. day. And Well, I'm really happy that you found what you need. I was just worried about the horses, so if you're good with that, I'm good with that. <laughs> Enjoy your new home. Okay, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, guys. Uh -huh. We'll see you.